Hi everyone, it's Lolly. Uh, we are at Creativation 2024 in New Orleans. It's Mardi Gras time, so we're getting decked out. Uh, we've had two days so far of workshops, and that has been pretty amazing. So, so much going on, so much to share. The videos are going to start coming more regularly now because we have not had time to do a whole lot of anything. So we're in the hotel room right now, and I just want to share this with you because um, as a creative professional there, we have, um, there's about maybe 60 members or so, but we had a dinner and several companies donated goods to put together some goodie bags for 10 people. And then they drew names to see who would get these bags and I was one of them. So I just wanna share these products with you and give a huge shout out. And first I want to show you this amazing product from Sizzix. And this is their stencil and stamps tool. I don't know if we have glare or not. Um, but is a stamp positioning tool and a stencil alignment tool all in one. And this is really big. You see the size of the box. It's a pretty good size. So, And it's nice and hefty. Here's the back. It shows the many layers here. And even if you don't have their stencils, you can get adapters to put your own stencils on here. So when you want to lay your stencils and get them on in exactly the same place every time, this is the tool. And this is the Sizzix Mat, and it's, what do they call it, the Media Mat. Sizzix Effects Multimedia Mat. So it is a very thick silicone mat, and it has spots here for your paints, and it wipes clean very easily. Very cool. This is their uh, intricate craft tool set. So it's one handle and you could put your little pickup tool. I'm sorry, my hands are inky from class. <laughs> Thank you, Dina Wakely. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this is like the craft er adhesive eraser. And this is another pickup tool, I think, and then a lid. And then, so it's really cool. It's multimedia. You just change the heads on there. You could put two heads on the same tool. And then this bag, which is so adorable. I love the shine and shimmer on that. And it's so perfect for Mardi Gras. And I see we have another tool from Sizzix, and this is the Gotcha. This is adorable, and I can tell this is nice and heavy. This is one of Stacy Park's new releases with Sizzix. And it's like, you can see the size, it's like four inches, and it's a magnetic stand. It stands on your um, craft table. I'm afraid I'm going to tear this pulling it out, but so be it. <laughs> And this holds all your, your little dies so that when you're crafting, there we go, you got to see this, it's cute, and it's called the gotcha tool because it gets your dies. And so it's got this little stand here, sits on your craft table, and it holds your dies like this while you're crafting. And it's not huge, and you don't have to put like a big die on the whole thing, just put a corner of the die there and that will hold it steady. Very, very cool and cute. It's just cute. Okay, I don't know what came from whom. This is from Emerald Creek. It is a stamp. It's a light, looks like a nice nature scene. It looks like some um, landscapes and some trees there. And so some of these are probably, I'll get the companies all mixed up. So, um, you know, out of order. This is also from Emerald Creek. I'm trying to give you the name here. 12 pieces of metal charms, but they look like kind of a magician's hat. I know that's really hard to see there. Very good. Oh, and then also from Sizzix, these are the little adapters, universal stencil converters. These are what you would stick to your stencils in order to get them to work with this if they're not Sizzix stencils. Oh, more Emerald Creek. This is baked velvet glaze embossing powder. Beautiful. So it's a glaze powder. Okay, now this is all in one particular case. So let's set that aside now. And I'm trying to see if I can get like items out. I don't think I can. Art Esprit, if you're not familiar with Art Esprit, they do sublimation, but sublimation for everybody. So you don't have to have a sublimation printer. They have inks, they have stamp pads, they have markers. You can color and paint and then still heat and get what you need. This is their multi-purpose cleaner, iron-on ink cleaner, it says, so cool. For use with sublimation, iron-on ink. So that gets that's the cleaner for that. And we have a sawdust butter marcasite. This is all, this is from the Crafters Workshop. That is 
an incredible, it looks like that gunpowder color and it's very metallic, dark charcoal and glittery. That's going to be great. Uh, they have beautiful stencils. Maker's Magic is uh, a new-ish uh, decoupage medium. It's glossy, very cu cute, cute jar there. And I see some paints rolling around in here. I'm trying to get, <laughs> uh, this is a, a heat set, I don't know how you can, how to pronounce G-L-A-C-E. It's like glossé or glace or I don't know how you pronounce it. But and, and this is from Ann Butler. It's a watercolor. Thank you, Ann. I didn't know that she was including stuff in there. And then we have some paints. These are from Deco, from Art Deco. They are Deco Earth. And that is their new line of paints. We took a class from that and I'll be telling you more about that later. But they actually are making recycled paints from your house paint. So you paint your walls inside the house, and then you end up with all this half a gallon of paint, and you don't know what to do with it, and you have a shelf full of all this paint. They're recycling that and making it into craft paint. And we got to play with these. They are very creamy and thick, and they come on a very good coat. They give a very good coverage. So you can take a light color like yellow or white and get full coverage and you don't shake them. Uh, they were just pretty fun to work with. So again, you'll hear more about that from me later. And it just keeps coming. Well, let's go ahead and look here because I pulled this out. This is the Easy easy 220, Easy to Organize. And this is, um, what is her name? Oh, come on. All of the organization, Tolly Tiffany. Tolly Tiffany's bag here. And it is the, it's one of her new ones that holds like dies and stamps. And he, she actually sells magnetic sheets and file folders that fit in these. And these, it's a perfect size. I have one for my, uh, this is a new product, but I already have one for my Better Press plates and my Glimmer plates. And it's a perfect thing for that. So in here, I don't know, I think this is just a backing for something. We've got Violet Studio. Violet Studio Designs. I'm not familiar with them. This is an adorable little notebook. And these look like stickers, also from the same company. Those are adorable. They're like gardening. And Colorista, colored pencils, vibrant color, vib vibrant blendable color. Will you be doing a review on those? I will. I need to. These are, so they're colored pencils by Spectrum Noir, and that's the colors that are in here. Kind of like some earth tones there. Very pretty. It's like a the variety of flesh tones is what it looks like. Very cute. Crafter's Companion. This is the Cosmic Collection. And this is a Cosmic a Constellation Embossing Folder. So you can see the pattern you get right there. That'd be really cute with some dark paper. And then uh, emboss that. And then put the gold or silver stenciling over that. Oh, oh, and we have, uh, oh, oh, All and Create. They have very vibrant um, designs, and these are their butterfly ephemeral. Look at the colors on that. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, this is, okay. This goes with this. This is a, um, it folds out. I won't do it on video, but it folds out, kind of snaps together, and it gives structure to this piece right here. So that fills in there. And then this is also with the artistry. It's the flyer that goes with this and for the company. It's good that they give flyers so you know, you know what the products do. This goes with the Deco Art new paints. This is all their paint colors. They have 27 new colors in this. They do plan to come out with more. And I don't remember when the release is for this ink, but it's very soon, like next month maybe. Mm -hmm. Don't quote me April. on that. Yeah. I think April. And they said, you know, they, they will come out with more colors, but right now uh, you can blend almost anything with these colors. And we made a full color chart. This isn't it, but this is, uh, a, this is sort of like what we did. We had a stencil and we just did our colors and blended them using the yellow, the blue, and the red to do that. And this is also showing the new colors right there, the new company. And this is, okay, so we have uh, some Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts for some of these companies so we can find them and tag them on social media. I've got, okay, this is Penny Black. Now, Penny Black, I am going to be doing make and takes at their booth, both tomorrow and the next day. 
using their new product called Stick and Shine, and she put some of this in here for us. Stick and Shine is a way to achieve foiling on your cards and your journals and all your projects without having to use the any kind of heat. And so they have these, which are the Stick and Shine images, and you peel off the, the one side of it, put it down on your paper, and use a transfer tool, sort of like a rub-on, but you don't have to rub hard at all. And it's a flat surface. Then you peel that off and just lay your foil on it and use your finger to gently rub on there, and it transfers the foil beautifully to your project. So they gave us several sheets, all those colors of foil. This is their new release. This is one of their new releases, so we'll be doing make and takes with that in their booth. They gave us the stamp set, and this die, which is really cute. They have these words, which are very fun, and what do they call them? There's a, there's a word for, this one is thanks, but what it does is it cuts out the word, and it also cuts a frame out above the word. So you make a two-layer card. Very, very pretty. And we got her card, her business card there. I will put that away later. This just keeps going. Okay. Oh, uh, craft knife, paint knife from the Crafter's Workshop. So this goes with the butter. If you've ever messed with their butter, it's, it's very fun. Gorgeous, beautiful. And we can use that on our stencils from this, too, from the um, Sizzix. Now, this is all Sculpey. The Sculpey Company, if you're familiar with Sculpey, yeah. it is a polymer clay, I believe I'm using the right term there. This is liquid polymer clay. Oh my goodness. I have never heard of liquid polymer clay. I have used Sculpey. I have made ornaments and, you know, Christmas ornaments and gifts and all sorts of things by rolling them out, cutting them with various things. I've stamped on them with rubber stamps. I've painted, I've baked them so they're hard, and then I've painted over them. They are pretty fun to do. So there's those, four colors of that. There's a mold so that you can make jewelry, you can make pendants with that. Got to poke your holes before you bake it. But So it's, they'll show some examples in the back. So you can use this, make a pendant, make a charm, bake it, it hardens, and then you can paint on it, stamp on it, do mixed media on it. There's all kinds of things you can do. I'm picturing something shimmery on that. That would be beautiful. So, so much here. Wow, <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of playtime coming up. So you can see the big spread here and this just stunning little cute little bag here. Um, so much to see, so much to do. Just amazing and overwhelming. And thank you so much to all of these beautiful companies. Thank you for watching and keep your eye out for my whole playlist because there's more coming.